What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Earlier today, we got the season two reloaded blog post. I went ahead and covered all the details, the patch notes, the new content. So if you missed it, I'll have a link down in the description, but this video is going to go over the upcoming operator bundles, the tracer packs, the crossovers, and all that good stuff that Call of Duty officially confirmed in that blog post as well. So if you find the video helpful or informative at any point, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get into it. The very first operator bundle we have is called the tracer pack Dune part two Harkonnen pack. This is going to be the official artwork that Call of Duty already revealed for us and it's going to be bringing in this new Harkonnen operator skin and here's what it says deploy as the enemy of house Atreides with the Harkonnen hunter operator skin covered from head to toe in state-of-the-art armor capable of withstanding even the most severe weather conditions overwhelm your foes with two weapon blueprints featuring the spice tracers the Harkonnen assault rifle featuring an underbarrel flamethrower for an extra crispy elimination while the Harkonnen sniper rifle offers a highly mobile long distance option with attachments catered towards sprint to fire speed, ADS speed, and movement speed. For dispatching enemies up close, deploy with the Harkonnen longsword melee weapon based off the new midseason soul render. I do have a photo of that weapon blueprint, so I'll go ahead and showcase that for you guys. Anyways, on top of this, the rest of the cosmetics include, it says, so no one mistakes you as one of the good guys, equip the oppressor's animated calling card, the Harkonnen rage large decal, the Baron's pet weapon charm, and the house Harkonnen animated emblem. And here's what they said, bonus, purchase both bundles bundles in part two collection this one right here which is the Harkonnen one plus the tracer pack dune part two Paul Atreides operator bundle and that will unlock you the Paul Atreides Fadekin stealth suit operator skin from the wording it looks like you have to own these two bundles so if you own the fade Ratha and then the Paul Atreides bundle it will not count and give you that free operator skin it looks like you may need to end up purchasing this new bundle in order to get that additional benefit they're doing like a buy two get one free type of sale the Fadekin stealth suit doesn't come with any additional benefits it's just a mask on with Paul Atreides it doesn't have an extra blueprint it's not its own separate bundle it's just a separate operator skin it'll have the same voice lines and all the same other things but yeah that's pretty much what you need to know about how to get that fadekin stealth suit outfit that i know some of you guys were asking about anyways along with the operator there's actually an event it says take control of the dune rule of fate event that starts on march 6th to march 13th that means that this bundle is going to be releasing on the first day of the season 2 reloaded update and this is going to be an xp based event which include rewards like the emperor's arrival weapon sticker a deep desert large decal imperial tent large decal the emperor's blade weapon charm the house career emblem the calcus of power calling card and the imperial shield weapon camo from the name it looks like that's a brand new camo so we have not seen that one yet the next set of operator skins that we have are coming in with the warhammer 40k crossover as you see there's three different sets that are going to be included you have the astro militarium the sisters of battle and the space marines and let's go ahead let's dive into them so the first one is tracer pack warhammer 40,000 space marines and this is everything this bundle includes it's to show your loyalty to your chapter and the emperor and adorn yourself like the angel of death this bundle features two operator skins the ultramarine scout skin inspired by the armor of the ultramarines 10th company and the blood angel scout skin inspired by the armor of the blood angels 10th company in addition bring havoc to the limited time juggermosh multiplayer mode in this mode any player whether you purchase this bundle or not you will have access to the ultra mars vengeance ultramarines and the Balls Wrath Blood Angels. For those of you guys who don't know, that is pretty much the big guy in the back, the one with the Riot Shield skin. That's actually a Juggernaut skin. You'll be able to use it for free during the LTM, but if you want to use it permanently forever, so anytime you call in a Juggernaut, you want to have this outfit there, you will be able to get that included with this bundle. And then they go on to say, in addition, you can equip the Ultramarines and Blood Angels weapon charms. They head into the battle with the Flesh Terror and Teeth of Terror melee weapons, which are going to be the Chain Swords. And we saw that there's the Red Red version then there's the blue version then you have a new Aegis Imperialist Riot Shield Blueprint, which we did also talk about in the past and we showcased. And then there's the Evisceration Finishing Move, which we haven't seen yet. The next bundle we have is called Tracer Pack Warhammer 40k Sisters of Battle. There is only war. Join the fight with furious zeal by equipping the Battle Sister Operator skin and decimate your foes with the Heretic's Bane LMG Weapon Blueprint, the Emperor's Fury Assault Rifle Blueprint, both featuring weapon Warhammer Tracers and Gorehammer Dismemberment, including an aftermarket. Market part on the Holger 556. 
Spread the light of the God Emperor by displaying the Imperium Aquila weapon charm, Valorous Heart Emblem, Daughters of the Emperor loading screen, and then a large decal and a sticker. The final bundle we have is called the Tracer Pack Warhammer 40k Astra Militarum. And these are the, this is what the details of it says, defend humanity from the horrors of the 41st millennium and deploy with the Cadian Kaskerkin, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, operator skin and elite trooper of the Imperial Guard. Slice through your enemies with the Minotaurum issue blade, melee weapon blueprint and wield the Lasgun inspired weapons with the hammer of the Emperor AR blueprint and the born soldier marksman rifle blueprint, both featuring Laz rifle tracers and gore hammer dismemberment or you can always tear them apart with the tactical pet servo skull finishing move. I guess they're calling it a tactical pet here and we've seen the finishing move for this in the past so it looks like it's tied to this bundle and it says wear your insignia with pride by equipping the Astra Militarum emblem, the sacred Rosarius weapon charm, the Warstrom loading screen, the Cadia stands calling card and the Wars Decree large decal. Be sure to arrive in your battle armor ready for Warhammer 40k for the Emperor which will start on March 13th and then that goes on into the actual event. And this event is going to be XP based and here are some of the rewards you'll be able to get. There's a inquisitorial seal weapon sticker, no no fear large decal for the emperor emblem, righteous hatred weapon charm, psyched out grenade tactical skin, the animated calling card, another calling card, animated emblem, a loading screen, and finally the righteous storm WSP9 SMG weapon blueprint which we actually know what that looks like but surprisingly they don't mention the camo and that's the one that we thought it was called blue steel that we thought was going to be a part of this event. It looks like it's either scrapped or is just not going to be tied to this event. Anyways the next operator bundle that we have is the tracer pack Godzilla Kong new empire Kong operator skin. It says embrace your inner Inner beast with the Savage Kong armor operator skin featuring a high-tech heavily armored suit and Kong inspired helmet. Unleash Primal Fury with the Titan Tech Rifle LMG, a weapon blueprint that goes the distance with improved damage range and bullet velocity. For closer fights, swap to the Monarch Stinger Assault Rifle Weapon Blueprint designed with heightened mobility, include improved sprint speed, aim down side speed, and sprint to fire speed. Both weapon blueprints feature beast tracers, and we do have photos of these, by the way, and then obliterate enemies from behind using the Kong's Knuckle Slam, which finishing move. And that's that finishing move that we had in the files for a while, and then they say, show off your bestial nature with the bow to no one large decal and the King Kong weapon charm. Unfortunately, no release date for this, but it's probably gonna be around the time of the movie, so maybe towards the end of this update, around March 29th. Sadly, no event is tied to this, and it might just be only a bundle, and it doesn't look like they're gonna do a full-on crossover, but the next thing that we have these are some other operator skins that were shown just based on photos that we saw in the blog post they don't really give us any more details other than the photos but this is the first one that we have this one definitely looks like it's going to be an ultra skin the weapon camel that they're holding is actually going to be a free reward from the weekly challenges but just take a look at the operator skin itself it has glowing eyes it definitely looks like it's going to be one of the more expensive operator skins the next operator skin that we have is this green operator she was shown previously i believe when we covered the other operator skins we definitely saw her. She's gonna be a reskin of an existing operator, but still probably gonna cost like 2,400 COD points. The next operator skin is this character right here covered with like a bandana or something like that. She has sunglasses on. It looks like she's riding the blood burner vehicle right here, but this is definitely gonna be an operator skin. We talked about this one previously as well. Following that, we have that pigeon operator skin. This is another photo that we have of him. It looks like it's wearing a little mini hat. It definitely is a unique one. I know they do these weird skins where they have a rat skin, a duck skin. It looks like they're keeping up that pattern this one, this time around with that pigeon one. And then they showcase that green operator skin once again with the photo of the soul render melee weapon. So you get a, a different angle of what that operator skin will look like. Once again, that other operator that we talked about with the bandana and sunglasses being showcased here once again with the SOA subvitter. And this is just a different angle photo of that. But these are pretty much all the operator skins that we know of and have been revealed so far. Once the actual update goes live on March 6th, we're gonna know the prices of them, what all the weapon blueprints look like, what the tracers look like, and we'll have early gameplay footage of everything you need to know about these upcoming bundles. But if there's anything else you guys want to see here on the page comment it down below and let me know and that's all that i have for you guys in this so thank you guys for tuning in hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back again peace